dealing with were Scorpium? Affirmative. But the client sure seemed like a human, from what I could tell at least. The Scorpium Collective takes many forms. Some may appear entirely cybernetic, others as cyborgs or androids. There are also those who are entirely organic in nature. Ah, great. It is freaking horrifying to know that we handled unknown cargo from unknown clients. So you're saying that if I succeeded in delivering you, all of Virgold would be Scorpium by now? Horrifying is an unfairly emotional evaluation. Integration with Scorpium is... I don't care what you think, all right? Based on what we've seen and heard about it, that's how I feel. Deal with it. We cannot refute this statement. If Scorpium is truly acting in violation of our principles, it would be in defiance of our very existence itself. Are you confused? Do you even get confused? We cannot deny this possibility. There is a need for us to learn the truth of these events in order to carry out our mission successfully. We shall cooperate as much as possible when necessary. Oh, I'll see to it that you shall. Don't worry about that. After all, you're different from the other Duma, aren't you? Five minutes to rendezvous point. Ray, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Put them on screen. Right on schedule, I see. I'll be on board shortly for that information exchange we mentioned. You serious? A sign of good faith from us. After we rendezvous, we'll warp out for one minute. After the transfer, we'll immediately warp back in. Maintain your course. I've just sent the data. Data received. Huh. Looks to me like there's only one person in the transfer chamber. Not exactly thrilled about their terms, but seems we've got no choice. Understood. Maintaining course and confirming that of the Vela Gulf. Transfer will commence within one minute of exiting warp. Once Captain Curtis is aboard, we shall adopt a parallel course to the Vela Gulf. Captain's coming aboard. Uh, guess it's up to me to bid him welcome. Marielle, Leticia, come on with me. I'm not too savvy when it comes to Federation etiquette. Understood. Uh, I should go too? Yeah, all you gotta do is stand there. If there's three of us, it should deter Curtis from trying any funny stuff. Very well. Gotta admit, Captain, I wasn't expecting you to come alone. It'll be easier for us to talk like this. Let's make this quick. The Vela Gulf is currently en route to the Manuk system. Captain, this emergency you mentioned. Are you Lieutenant Marielle El Kenny? There's a warrant out for your arrest, you know. I am aware of that and ready. We can explain all that and more in this intel exchange. First things first, though, can I offer you a cup of freshly brewed Terran coffee? Don't mind if I do. Goodness. To think such a thing took place in the Aster system. So, what is it that has you rushing off to the Manuk system? Manuk is currently under siege by a large fleet of Scorpium ships. Headquarters interprets it as a full-scale invasion. Ridiculous. That is impossible. I've been wondering about this. A Duma, I presume. You know about Duma? We've been gathering information on our end as well. The Duma are the ones proselytizing the Scorpium's integration ideology, correct? Affirmative. Scorpium is a being that seeks to evolve as a life form. Aggressive incursions are nothing more than an act that limits our evolutionary choices. It would seem the Scorpium are no monolithic entity. The faction currently attacking the Manuk system are known as the Centralists. 
Centralists? Ray, do you think? Yep, Centralists. That's the name Boldor mentioned on the Tyrannus. The entirety of Scorpion is composed of individuals linked without partiality. A central being cannot exist within our system. And yet Manuk is under siege by Scorpion calling themselves Centralists. How did Headquarters come by this intel? You know, Captain, it hasn't been that long since I left the Astoria, yet there seems to be too much new information. Hmm. Uh, there must be some connection between the Scorpium and the Federation higher-ups. Fleet Headquarters, specifically. Your assumption is correct. A significant number of fleet officers have broken off from the chain of command. Most of them were in contact at some point with the Scorpium on the planet of Veer. Headquarters decided to launch a rescue effort in the Manuk system. It's unclear who's friend and who's foe within HQ, however. We may even be following a Scorpium directive. And even if that is the case, you can't just abandon them, huh? Captain Curtis, the Aldous is in possession of Scorpium data compiled by a soldier who escaped from Veer. We are currently pursuing the Scorpium ship that came to Aster 4. I'd like you to analyze that data and identify the ship in question once we reach the Manuk system. This is invaluable intel. We're in your debt. Yeah, no worries. Just reimburse me for the Yidus once this is all over and we'll be square. I'll see what I can do. Thank you for your time. I'll get back in contact as soon as we've identified the ship that you're after. We've exited warp. Commencing transfer. Please be careful. You as well. The Vela Gulf has sent us a location. ETA to the Manuk system is 25 hours. Exactly six hours behind the Vela Gulf. Don't sweat about what he said. The larger an organization, the easier it is to corrupt. Captain, please don't make light of it. Even a single ship deviating from the chain of command is cause for alarm. If all of these ships are under the influence of Scorpium, then the risk to the entire galaxy is very real. I too find something strange about all this. What do you mean? Little Duma's reaction. I also felt that what Captain Curtis told us did not line up correctly with what we heard from Lola. She stated that the Scorpium invading her home were acting in such a way as to avoid detection. I did not get the impression that it was attacked outright in the same way as this Manuk location is being attacked now. I think Lola's hunch may be right about Scorpium having infiltrated the Federation undetected. But isn't Duma also a part of Scorpium? It must be hiding something. Little Duma always remains silent when they wish to be deceptive. When they do speak, it is generally free of falsehood. This is why their assertion that Scorpium does not invade must be true. Right, Duma? Correct. Duma's the only link we have to understanding the Scorpium. We analyzed the data from the Tyrannus, but we still have almost no idea of who or what the Scorpium are. We won't learn much of anything until we confront them ourselves. As I discussed with Captain Curtis, it's most likely that the Scorpium faction attacking Manuk are in cahoots with the ship Boldor is on. The Vela Gulf has kindly agreed to help us track it down. I have detected other unidentified ships also approaching the Manuk system. 
where the Scorpion battleship is heading. However, support from the Federation is still far away. The Vela Gulf, Aldis, and Manuk fleet will have to handle this alone. So what you are implying is that it will be a difficult battle. That is correct. What will you do if Boldor is aboard that ship, and we find ourselves forced into combat with it? All I can say is that we should be ready for anything, even if it means taking them out. It would seem war is much the same here in the stars as it is in our world. Yep, you got that right. Which is exactly why I want you all to rest up before we reach the combat zone. I better get some rest too. the Manuk system. They have made contact with what appear to be two Scorpion ships. They are engaging in battle. All available hands to the bridge. The battle's already underway. Status report. The Manuk fleet has already suffered heavy losses. They only have three vessels deployed currently, none of which have been able to attack effectively. Can you tell me, Ray? Why is this Manuk fleet so inferior? Even up here in space, some folks have the technological leg up on others. Another Scorpion battleship is nearing the Manuk system. ETA, two hours, three minutes. How long until the Aldis arrives? Two hours, eleven minutes. However, we could become embroiled in battle at any time. I'm sure we'll be fine. Captain, update. We will arrive in the Manuk system in six minutes. The Vela Gulf has disabled one of the Scorpion vessels. They are currently in combat with two ships, including the one that arrived shortly before us. Way to go, Captain Curtis. Battleships sure are on a different level, aren't they? Captain, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. Putting on screen now. Vela Gulf to Aldis. We only have eight torpedoes left. Hardly enough to take out these last two ships. We're going to focus on stalling them. Can you cover us? You can count on it. We'll be pulling into your sector in three minutes. Much appreciated. Vela Gulf out. The two ships engaged with the Vela Gulf are now designated as Scorpion Ship Bravo and Scorpion Ship Charlie. Warp out directly into the orbital path between the Vela Gulf and Scorpion Ship Bravo. Trajectory set. Red alert. Deploy full defensive shields. Set to Omni. Load all six proton torpedo launchers. Arm the phase cannons. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Shields at full. Proton torpedoes loaded. Phase cannons initialized. Everyone get to your seats and strap in. It's about to get bumpy. Currently maintaining distances of 500,000 kilometers with Bravo and 760,000 with Charlie. Fire three torpedoes at Bravo, and immediately reroute to course 6-0, Mark 0. Proton torpedoes away. Impact in 11 minutes. The Vela Gulf has also launched a torpedo at Bravo. just fired four torpedoes at us. Activate auto evasion. Activating auto evasion. Ah, it's shaking! Keep quiet. You might bite your tongue otherwise. Three of the torpedoes will miss, but one cannot be avoided. Brace for impact. We have 
have been hit. Shields at 76%. Restoring them now. The, the rumbling is like an earthquake. We get any hits in? All three torpedoes failed to connect. How could they miss at that interval? What sort of ship is that? Damn it! Open a channel to the Vela Gulf! Channel, open! Captain, follow this. Can you handle this? We'll make it work. Just go! Set phase cannons to fire simultaneously on both Bravo and Charlie. Program salvo bursts to fire automatically in 10 second intervals on these coordinates. Understood. Divert to course 270, mark 180. Match the movements of the Vela Gulf. Roger, Captain. I'll do my best. Distance between Bravo and Charlie is 100,000 kilometers. Both ships are taking evasive action. Now, hit Bravo with all we've got! Two torpedoes have hit. Bravo has ceased turning. The Bella Gulf's attacks on Charlie also landed. Bullseye! Bravo and Charlie are on a collision course. Scorpium ships Bravo and Charlie have collided. Both battleships appear to have been immobilized. For now. Don't get out of your seat just yet, though. We don't know what's still out there. Captain, the Bella Gulf is hailing us. Excellent work, Captain Raymond. Thanks, but uh, it was the Vela Gulf that did all the heavy lifting. We just came in to steal the show. The real work starts now. What do you intend to do? We're gonna board one of the Scorpion ships with Duma and investigate inside. Understood. They may be quiet now, but you're likely to face some strong opposition. Be careful. For sure. And I trust you got our back if anything happens. Can you tell me which ship is the one that came from Aster? Is it Bravo or Charlie? Uh, don't tell me it was the ship that went down before we even got here. It is fortunate we have the data from Lola. Bravo is the one we seek. So we're boarding the Scorpion battleship. Yep, you got it. Let's make our way over there now. Transfer chamber. Oh, I simply wanted to try saying it. Did I do so correctly? And these? Portable optic deflectors. You can wear these to protect yourself from portable optical weaponry equivalent to a Federation phase gun. Hmm. I see. Wait, pray. What exactly does all that mean? It means that even if you're hit by a glowing gun, like the one Marielle was using, it won't kill you. But that's not a complete guarantee, so don't get too cocky. Note that it also offers defense from physical attacks, such as bullets or knives. Finally, please attach these magnetic soles to your footwear. You can switch them on and off by touching your heels. Indeed, being free of gravity's shackles ought to be fun. Do not even think of wandering off. this what why am i upside down everyone please remain calm turn your feet toward that surface there and touch your heels uh, okay like this <sighs> so this is the inside of a scorpion ship huh which means we're in the belly of a living creature 
It certainly does have that appearance. Rather unnerving. Where could Boldor be on a ship like this? If he's even still alive. All these... They were on this ship. We must hurry. If more Scorpium arrive, there's no telling what could happen. Strange. This vessel is... What's up? Ray, I am picking up multiple life signs ahead. Many of the Scorpium do not possess detectable life signs. I suggest exercising caution. Look, we could probably get through there. They don't look In terms place. of external appearance, this vessel is not particularly different than a normal sport. Perhaps the reports of different. I must say, no. Hold the damn phone. Isn't that a Federation soldier's uniform? It also belongs to a high-ranking officer. What does this mean? Captain Lewis Haynes, a military officer on Earth. A dead end. We should search the area. Never know what useful stuff we might happen on. Enemies up ahead! Oh, be able to move this junk here with a little oomph. Watch out for enemy flames. We need to calm that area. 
Remain vigilant. are now safe. Target sighted.
Prep for engagement. Ready yourself. Perceptive range. Preparations complete. Enemies up ahead. Warning. Energy levels low. We're safe.
he made it. Let's keep moving. Sweet. Hey, look. There seems to be some infighting. Ridiculous. Impossible. To deny something occurring in front of us? It doesn't match you. They also have Federation officer uniforms. <sighs> Must... We shall Let's be burn I think I destroy. Neutralized. So tough now. You shall see us deterred. Wait, you are not of the Scorpium? Are you with Pan Galactic Federation pursuers fighting in this system? And what if we are? We are not your foe. We do not wish to fight either. I beg of you. Do with me as you will, but please, save the rest. The rest? Letizia, um, behind it. You were protecting these people from other Scorpium? The Centralists must not be allowed to have them. These are refugees of war who have lost their homes. Please, you must help them. And why should we believe you? You mean to say that the Centralist Scorpion do, in fact, exist? Aha! Duma! This will make things easy. It is hard to accept, but it would appear we must acknowledge the existence of the Centralist faction. What is the matter? The Scorpion that refer to themselves as Centralists are in rebellion against the existing network. They are attacking those the existing network has deemed suitable, and assimilating them by force. This vessel was headed for a Scorpion colony, carrying those people behind me. However, the ones we took aboard on Aster IV summoned the Centralists, and we were dragged into this conflict. You refer to Baldor, Valange, and Gaston. Wait a minute. So those two Veer were Centralists all along? Though Centralists, they are still Scorpion. It is merely a difference of thinking. They initially sought rescue simply because they lacked the means of reaching space. We responded out of a desire to aid our comrades. And because of that, all these people are now embroiled in a war? <laughs> it's unforgivable. But this one is Scorpium too. And it's assimilating a large number of innocents into its collective. Fate was fair, it seems. It appears you have deemed integration into Scorpium as something malevolent. You are saying it is not? At least, in my case, it was a means of survival. I became one with Scorpion by my own choice, and that of no one else. There are countless others, aside from myself, whose lives were saved by integration as well. Huh, well that was unexpected. Regardless, this vessel is doomed. I ask once more that you at least save these people behind me. I am going to put a stop to those who commandeered this ship. They are a danger to the Scorpion Network. What do you want to do? Let's help. We're able to reason with him. And he can tell us more about the Scorpion. Right? Please? <sighs> Fine. So be it. You, uh, got a name, bud? Please, call me JJ. All right, JJ. We'll do all we can to help you out. But, in exchange, I want you to tell us everything about the Scorpium. Thank you. 
Whoa, whoa. I must paint a strange picture, bowing before you in this body. However, let this be proof that I remain still an individual, though I bear the form you now see. You have my heartfelt gratitude for saving the lives of my friends. Uh, what exactly is happening here? I'm sorry that thanks. We still got time before the ship goes down, yeah? We've got business to take care of a bit further in. I promise you we'll come back with This has to take priority. We've handled all the enemies in the area. What information do we have on those who took over the ship? Oh, well, there's... Ordor. Valange. And Gaston. Wait. They're Virian, are they? Thank you. I appreciate the intel. Uh, what was that all about? and learn. It appears they are up ahead. We should ready ourselves before we make a move. Princess Leticia. I did not expect you would dare to follow us all this way. Baldor, what have you done? Integration, my child. My power now exceeds imagining. It is no small wonder there are so many scorpions spread throughout the universe. But how? I am certain that man was not integrated when he first came aboard. There was still some time until our escort from Central would arrive, so we had him added to the network a tad early. From the wedding? The Emperor was most impressive. His integration went flawlessly. Well, Dor, what is it you hope to bring about with this power? As an Emperor, it is only natural to desire peace and prosperity for my people. Halcyon days lie ahead for the subjects of Vale in all of Aster IV through Scorbium integration. Our planet will be connected, one network, one beating heart, free of war and suffering. And you would still call them people? Yes. Nevertheless, I cannot allow Centralist Scorpion to bring such a thing to pass. Bulldor! Aster 4 is not ready for this power from the stars. 
I shall end your ambitions here. Careful, everyone. I see you yet convincing. Rest assured, I have no desire. Nay, my sweet. Humans fight each other as well, do they not? Only through conflict can understanding emerge. What you keep here is not a war. It is slaughter. Stay where you are. <laughs> you are strong indeed, Scorpion Warrior. Absurd. How can he be so strong so soon after integration? Yeah, no kidding. He's on a completely different level than other Scorpion. Emergency communication from the Vela Gulf. Ray, the Astoria is approaching Scorpion ship Bravo at high speed. The Astoria? Those bastards love to hide. Get out of there, Ray. They're gonna fire! It would seem we are done here. Yes, it would. Our escort from Central has arrived. The Astoria is connected with the Centralists? Would knowing that change anything? This ship will be destroyed, along with your own. Colonel Valange, is this truly what you desire? Lola lives! She awaits your return! There's... no going back for me. I am truly sorry, Princess Leticia. I find myself unable to save you. Voldor! Damn it! It's the Astoria. They're changing course, and they've locked onto us. We can't shake them! And run! No! Stop! Please! The Vela Gulf! Chloe, transfer all detectable life signs aboard this ship! JJ, grab onto me! the Astoria. Captain Curtis, you saved our bacon. We only escaped thanks to you. Don't think you're out of the weeds just yet. The Astoria seems to have it out for you. Get out of here while we hold them off. The Federation should be the ones to atone for all this. Son of a bitch! Get us out of the Manuk system at max warp! All hands, brace for warp speed! Wait! We must help them! There's nothing we can do if we stay. The captain's efforts will be in vain. Entering emergency warp. Course 180. Mark 180. Engines at maximum.
No signs of pursuit. We have successfully escaped the Manuk system. Captain Curtis. What do we do now, Ray? JJ. I heard you say that Scorpium ship was an evacuation vessel. Can we have civil discussions with other non-centralist Scorpium, like you? There are no hostile Scorpium among those who saved I and my comrades. What the hell are you talking about? That ship attacked the Akizuki! Only because your own vessel acted in a way that the Scorpium network deemed hostile. You were hiding and waiting for your chance to strike. That was a mistake in Scorpion's judgment. <laughs> hey, you know the coordinates of your destination? Don't tell me you're thinking of going straight to their base. We've lost Baldor and the others. We don't know whether the Vela Gulf survived. The Aldis can only sustain these evacuees for a couple days at most. Do we really have any other options? If you will give us passage to the colony, we of the Scorpion can promise to welcome the Aldus with open arms and with peace. JJ is not lying. I recommend cooperating with them in our investigation of these Centralists. Is your colony a Scorpium too? And where the hell is it? It is a Scorpium construct in the form of a colony. You will find it 700 light years from here. There's no way we can travel that far. We can arrive swiftly if we pass through the wormhole 6.2 light years from here. Can you input the coordinates of the wormhole? Yes, a wormhole does indeed exist at this point. If we travel through it, we will reach the colony within 24 hours. We possess the key to the wormhole. The Aldis is now en route to the Scorpium colony. We're bringing the refugees home. My thanks. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. What the heck even are the Scorpio? Guess I might as well ask. Better head for the living quarters. Well, looks like everyone had the same idea. Yes. I'd like to learn as much from JJ as I can. But... I'm not quite sure how exactly to ask. If there is something you need, then please enter. There you go. Captain Raymond, thank you once again for offering us your protection. I am truly grateful. Don't worry about it. Actually, I came hoping you might tell us more about the Scorpion. Has Duma told you nothing? Mainly general information. However, we have never had the chance to speak with someone who became a part of the Scorpion directly. You wish to know if Scorpion is your enemy? Correct. I saw a great many of my comrades that had been integrated beyond the point of recognition on the ship where we met you. They were unquestionably hostile not only towards me, but towards Raymond and Leticia as well. But then, we found you fighting to protect all those refugees. Is that not normal? Normal? They had their objectives, and acted to remove any irregularities in its completion. Which in this case would be... all of you. I, too, had my own objective, and sought your help to achieve it. Um, well, yes, that is all true, I suppose. But is Scorpion... A monstrous invader? 
that transforms people into something they are not? That's how it seems to me. The same mistaken belief prevailed on my home planet as well. The belief that those who merged with Scorpion became creatures so utterly alien that they were incapable of conscious thought. But this is not the case. Am I myself not proof of this as I stand before you? So you, uh, Scorpion, are basically just robots or androids? Maybe cyborgs? I would contend that none of those terms accurately describe my current state. I am a humanoid that has almost fully physically integrated with Scorpion. But why would you do that? To evolve. Duma said that too, but is it evolution to turn your body all mechanical? Conversion of the organic body is the process, not the means. The unified purpose brought forth by integration with Scorpion is connection with the Scorpion network that spans this vast galaxy. So you plug humans into this network? The Duma that came to my world also phrased many things in a way that invited misunderstanding. It is a concept that is easily grasped after integration, but difficult to comprehend prior to that. I believe that the evolution I gained through integration with Scorpion can be found here, and also here. Many different organic life forms join with Scorpion but at least for we humanoids, history has proven that evolution of the mind and heart is possible, does it not? I know these ideas are not easy to comprehend. I alone am not capable of conveying them properly, and I also understand the feelings of those who find Scorpion difficult to accept. However, I would not have lived a full life had I not gained this body. Thus, I have not even one iota of regret. All I ask is that you at least understand this. Very well. I don't get it, though. What about those Federation officers? There's gotta be something we're missing. We're really gonna have to open our minds if we want to wrap our heads around any of this. You mean to say that what we know is limited by what we have seen? And we are yet to understand the full extent of what has happened? Yeah, exactly. You're getting all of this pretty quick, Leticia. Well, you have proven to be quite the teacher. All of this has given me a headache. <sighs> I'm going to go get some rest. I should probably get some rest too. Give myself some time to process all of this. About time. Hmm, this is pretty good. Everyone is to report to the bridge immediately. Right then. Guess we ought to check out what this wormhole is all about. Come to think of it, uh, how does one use a wormhole? It's not the same as warp, right? There should be a Scorpion space-time stabilizer affixed to the edge of the wormhole. How do you affix uh, something to a wormhole? Ah, that thing. There it is. We need you to access it and send the code in the specified format. I should do it? Can you do it, Elena? I will try. Displaying coordinates to screen. Acquiring destination. Sending. Preparations are complete.
You may now enter the wormhole in conventional space. All right. Keep the thrusters at half power as we head in. Entering the wormhole at half thrust. <sighs> that sent a chill down my spine. Man, if we can start jumping through space like this, we wouldn't even need warp drives anymore. There are only five stable wormholes within the entirety of Scorpion's range in this galactic system. They do not allow for travel to unexplored space. The warp drive is a necessary technology for the evolution of life and humanoid races. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? Hmm. The end of the wormhole is coming up ahead. What the? We're at the end? Now exiting the wormhole. Space-time readings are showing major discrepancies. Recalibrating sensors now. Did, uh, we get through without a hitch? Calibration complete. Our current position is Sector Beta. 713 light years from our position prior to entering the wormhole. <sighs> Seriously? Long-range sensors detect an object equivalent to a space colony 2.1 light years from here. This is one of the colony form Scorpium constructs and the destination of JJ. It is named Parapium. You may proceed forward. The colony has a suitable space dock for entry. So based on what you've said, that dock and this whole colony is all part of Scorpium. Correct. You've got to be kidding me. Marielle, can you go wind up JJ and uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if he was here as we go in. Understood. Hello? I've communicated with Perapium. You may use the dock, or transfer, if that is to your preference. A port has been opened specifically for the Aldus. So no danger, right? There is no Scorpium here who view the Aldus as an enemy. The Aldus is welcomed. There is nothing to fear. Gotcha. Yeah, it'd be pretty lame to turn around and chicken out at this point. Let's go, everyone. Indeed. I dare say we will be fine. Yeah, exactly. Intriguing. So this is another world. No, another planet. This environment was made in a planet's image, I believe. Both ends of the terrain rise if looked at closely. I believe this colony is shaped as a colossal ring. Shaped like a ring? But why? Most likely the rotation produces artificial gravity. The fact that we do not seem to need these devices attached to our feet proves this. Indeed. A gravity generator like those found on spaceships would be most inefficient to maintain gravity in a structure as massive as this. What is this gravity you speak of? Do we really have to start from all the way there? 
How can I put this in terms you would understand? Let's talk about this later. What happens from here? You will undergo an entry procedure alongside the evacuees. It is as simple as taking an image of your face. So please, put yourself at ease. Is this in any way connected to integration? I can assure you, it is not. Continuing the choice to integrate sir. always lies with the organic life form. Scorpion will never force integration. Gotcha. Well, when in Robot Rome, do as the Robot Romans do, I guess. At ease. You will have no problems here. We register. Welcome to Parapium. Are you here to integrate? Uh, no, we, uh... They merely wish to learn. They have no plans to integrate at the moment. However, as reported earlier, some of the evacuees I have brought do seek to integrate. Yes, sir. Their requests have been confirmed. However... Something wrong? The integration plant is operating at reduced efficiency, so there will be delays. In the meantime, any guest requiring immediate attention will be sent to the medical center. Why is the plant operating at reduced efficiency? The plant's administrative network is currently under attack by a faction of Scorpium calling themselves Centralists. Until we can fully eradicate their presence, it is possible they may interfere with results, hence the facility's limited output. Centralists! Under attack! Are we in danger here? No, they are not physically present. Simply put, it is an unauthorized breach of our network. Rest assured that all of Parapium is fortified against attacks. Uh, so, what you're saying is that no one will be hurt? Absolutely correct. Your concern is very much appreciated. Oh, gotcha. Well, then that's fine, I guess. If a Scorpium network is attacking another Scorpium network, the schism truly exists. In any case, please be at ease and enjoy your stay in Parapium. The Scorpium network welcomes you all favorably. It's just a city. A normal, boring city. You consider this to be normal? Each and every single building here is as large as a keep. Yes. Hey, JJ, you're not really telling me all those buildings and everything are Scorpium. Even the benches? I guess we can just sort of take it all in as we make our way to the learning facility. Wherever that is. Would you like to try using the learning facility? Are you certain it's not dangerous? It is safer than a fight simulator. You have my word. Let us try it. There is still far too much we do not know about Scorpium. That is true. And it'll get us further than asking Duma questions and getting the cold shoulder anyway. The use of the learning... Understood. The words learning facility facility conjured images akin to a library in my head, but this is... I will admit that reading texts remains an effective method of learning, but this facility is slightly different. Welcome to Parapia. In this city, you can learn many things that will help you to understand the concept of Scorpion integration. Ah, uh, what do I do? Here, all integration candidates and organic life forms uncertain of integration 
can learn all there is to know of the Scorpion. Do not hesitate to ask questions. Okay then, uh... What exactly is Scorpium? Scorpium are a collective of cybernetic. I'm not sure what else there is to ask. Hmm? It would seem the information has been updated. Huh? That red unit has apparently been collecting information on the centralists. I still have much to learn about them myself. So this presents an ideal opportunity. Try asking a question. So what's the deal with these centralist Scorpium? They are an offshoot network newly generated along the Scorpium evolutionary line. At present, there are 17.74 million individuals recognized as belonging to the centralists. This network shares a programmed cognition that endorses deviating from the traditional means of Scorpium evolution. Our analysis is still underway, but for those who seek to integrate with the aforementioned group, we warn the network has reached a consensus that affiliation with the centralists is not recommended. We continue to gather information on the matter. Now that I've learned a bit about the centralists, I should talk to JJ. Get out of here. Have you heard enough? I think so. Yeah, my head is spinning. Well, my lack of knowledge of many of the basic concepts meant I only grasped half of what I heard. Am I correct in assuming that the Centralists are a faction that has emerged within the network and brought about infighting amongst the Scorpium? A state of internal strife should never be possible in the first place. Ah, you're really hung up on that, aren't you? If the Scorpium are living beings, then it's totally possible that they'd fight amongst each other. The origins of Scorpium as a life form lay in seeking out and sharing the potential for all manner of evolution. If factions or contradictory ideas were to arise, the conflict itself would be shared to nourish further evolution. That is Scorpium. This evolutionary prospect would then have been pruned as an issue with the fundamental algorithm. Yet this evolution has come to pass, so is it truly impossible, little Duma? It should be. Honestly, I feel the same as Duma. 
That is why the actions of these centralists are all the more puzzling. I am certain those at the integration plant feel the same. What could Buldor and the others be hoping to achieve in becoming Centralist Scorpium? What was that? From outside! Im impossible! A Centralist attack? What? It's been shared on the network. Centralist Scorpium are forcing their way into Perapium from the dock. Ugh. It appears Perapium itself is under attack from outside. That's... <sighs> That's the Astoria! It frickin' followed us here? No, it is going in that direction. That is the way to the integration plant. Could they be planning to destroy it? Ray, did you see the Astoria? Just now, yeah. Looks like it's headed for the integration plant. We need to regroup. Albert and the others have moved to fight against the invading Centralists. To protect the citizens of Parapium. Roger that. We're gonna meet up with Elena and the others first. Let's go. Wouldn't surprise me. You are unharmed. Oh, finally. Got tired of dawdling? So many are injured. We have to treat them fast or it'll be too late. Wait a second. That Scorpion miss. Marielle. They know what they are doing is wrong, yet they... they have chosen to blindly follow orders all the same. <sighs> they have long since passed the point of reason. If we are to right their misdeeds, we must fight. I understand. Down here. It would seem our defense of this district was successful. Yes, but the fighting at the plant is still raging. Many there have yet to undergo integration and are still wholly organic. We... We have to go help the inhabitants of Parapium. I cannot let the Astoria's crimes go unchecked any longer. Even if it means facing your former comrades and superiors, Marielle. Albert, thank you. You have opened my eyes. I am now prepared to fight. Any doubts are gone now. After seeing all this, it's clear that Captain Bennett is in the wrong. Precisely. The Edis needs to be avenged as well. Marielle, is it cool if I introduce Astoria's captain to my fist? Of course. JJ, may I ask you to guide us there? Gladly. It pains me that you have all been drawn into this unfortunate conflict. The plant is vast, so I expect our opponents will be many. Make sure to prepare accordingly. We apologize for stating there was no danger in Parapium. It was our error in not accepting the concept of the Centralists and failing to synchronize with the network. 
You know, I think that's the first time I've ever heard you apologize to us. Offering conclusions regarding undefined phenomenon without first gathering sufficient information and data is unbecoming of Scorpion. Do not trouble yourself. Many people, living beings, do similar things. Although infrequent, even my predictions prove wrong. Hey bud, just a heads up. Elena's throwing you a bone here. And in times like these, you say thank you instead of ignoring them. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're hopeless. That construction there is the integration plan. Not even I could tell you what awaits inside. Prepare yourselves for anything. Get cocky. Enemy in your Energy levels low. <laughs> You, are you here for integration? This is the first time that kind of Scorpium has spoken to us. Perhaps it is best we play along for now. Yes, that's right. We came here to integrate. The plant seems to be in a bit of an uproar, though. Did something happen? The Parapium plant is now under centralist control. If you wish to integrate, it is absolutely essential that you swear allegiance to our cause. I see. So, our word will be trusted by you even before we attempt to integrate? Do not overthink your decision. Do you pledge allegiance to the Centralists or not? Answer. Impossible. There is only one requirement for organic life forms to integrate with Scorpion. The desire to do so. You're a Duma! You speak our language, but you lack any ability to think on your feet. Death to those who defy the Centralists! I suspect that by now, they will have shared that we are intruders. Then let us hurry. I am detecting multiple life signs inside. We should limit the number of those that may integrate with Centralist Scorpion. I'd ask we try not to add any more to their ranks. And you know, none of those people came here with the intent to fight either. Everyone, we have to move quickly. So I guess we just gotta bust the skulls of whoever's messing with stuff here as we go? That should do it. But I expect there to be a number of security... We don't have the proper security level yet. We should figure that out first. We don't have the proper... We will need maximum security clearance to get through here. We will have to return later. Damn. Right when we're almost guaranteed to find something too. No choice but to work our way up the security. Let's leave this beat now. Everyone all right? Sweet! They don't look I like never imagined place. they would have infiltrated us so deeply. Might be worse than we thought, but we still gotta move. We. 
weeks. Hostile spot. Keep your eyes on. The enemy is We're safe. Might to understand correctly, we are stuck here due to one of those security po points you mentioned. That would be my guess. We'll need to search for a device to let us through. Let's go. Initiating. <laughs> over with stay sharp let's get up close and personal Let's do it! Initiating hacking sequence. <laughs> authentication scan. Will this let us get through to places we couldn't before? It appears so. We should return to the lobby on the first floor and see. Keep your eyes on them. The enemy is booked. You are now safe.
don't have the proper security level yet. We should figure that out first. Like this? Initiating hack. <laughs> 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 This looks like, and I'm gonna carry it out. We shall second floor of the lobby. There's a right swarm of them in here. Is there no end to their numbers? The more we up, the more we can take out at once. Let's make this quick. Threats detected. Initiating hacking. Bleed! I should have a fear!
Engaging the enemy. Leaving combat area. Remain vigilant. Security level yet. We should figure that out quickly. Initiating hacking sequence. Like this? Initiating Let us 
into areas we were locked out of before. Time to take out more centralists. Don't get cocky. integration processing plant. Those you see here are in the very midst of integrating with Scorpium. Please don't tell me they will all be centralists. If the principles of Scorpium are existent, the choice to be a centralist or not will be left up to each individual. Therefore, it is impossible to determine whether those in the midst of integration will be friend or foe. Yeah, great. Look at the scale of this operation. So, uh, is this particular integration plant special or something? Or are all of them this big? Out of all the many plants, this one boasts the largest Cybermind integration capabilities. Cybermind integration? Cyberint <laughs> gives me the creeps. Though standard integration, like my own, requires the consent of the organic life form. It will still be joining in a subordinate role to the core cybernetic life form. This is the main reason why integration with Scorpio is often perceived as invasion. The wills of both the organic life form and Scorpio persist in a state of coexistence. The cybernetic and organic life forms merge anatomically and become dependent upon the body for self-subjectivity. The integrated being can then connect the electrical signals of its own brain directly to the network. This is in contrast to cybermind integration, in which the organic life form is the core and subjectivity is not dependent on the body. Subjectivity is not dependent on the body? So it would be similar to me diving into cyberspace and inserting my own identity program into a computer I had hacked. Similar, but not the same. In the situation you describe, the subjective data you produce is being linked to a limited body located in the physical world. The subjectivity of an individual post-Cybermind integration exists within Scorpium Network. It connects and merges with the entire network while maintaining its subjectivity and sense of self. The only situation where an individual requires a physical body is when it wishes to interact with the material world. By its very nature, Cybermind integration incites new evolution within the network. But would that not require the brain functions of the organic life form to be converted in their entirety? There is no cause for concern. Even standard integration like that of JJ can be said to apply a certain level of cybermind integration in the way it allows connection to the network. Conducting cybermind integration generally requires that the individual have already undergone standard integration. As such, the progression to a complete and full state of digitalization is not an overly taxing procedure for the individual. <laughs> I can't follow any of this at all! What is this... this digitalization, really? 